Hello, and welcome to Season 3 of the Minecraft Archive. I'm Jared3118, and this is Episode 1. And in this episode, we are going to try to find a perfect location to start our brand new base in this brand new world. Uh, so this is very exciting because Minecraft 1.0 has just been released just a few minutes ago. So this is my first time trying out all the new features in this version of the game and uh, just very happy that Minecraft is officially a game and no longer in the stages of alpha and beta. So huge congratulations to Notch and the gang at Mojang. They have put together uh, one of the best games of all time in my opinion. So already, wow, the terrain, the terrain in this world looks pretty awesome. Um, I'm actually very satisfied uh, with the starting location, and I'm going to explain why. I have a few projects that I have in mind for Season 3. First of all, I'd like to build a huge tower. And before, I, I've built a tower, and, you know, it's been on top of a hill, or in Season 1, it was on top of the Enterprise. But I'm talking about taking this tower to a whole new level. And I actually got this idea from one of my viewers named Seductive Bagel. And I am planning on building a tower that goes from the bedrock all the way up to the clouds. So basically the tallest tower you could possibly build in this game. And I got to thinking about, well, where would be the perfect spot to build that kind of tower? And I got to thinking, what if I build it in the ocean? So part of the tower would be deep underground, go all the way to the bedrock. The middle section of the tower would actually go through the ocean, and then the top part of the tower would go all the way to the clouds. I think that would be a pretty epic tower. So that is what we are going to start working on in these first few episodes of Season 3. But uh, like I said, there's a few projects that I have in mind for this season. And two of the most requested things that I build in my Minecraft series have always been a treehouse and floating islands. And in this season, I plan on doing both. Uh, the treehouse is not going to be any ordinary treehouse. I'm not going to just uh, grow a big tree and make a little platform in it and call it a treehouse. No, this is going to be a very epic, massive tree that um, I'm actually going to construct out of wooden blocks. So instead of just taking a tree and growing it with bone meal, I'm actually going to build this tree from scratch, and it will likely go from the ground all the way up to the clouds, or very close to the clouds, and they'll have all kinds of different rooms in it. Uh, so that'll kind of be like my second project. And then the third project I have in mind are the floating islands. And since I'm building this, this massive tower, I think it would be cool to have floating islands up in the up near the clouds surrounding the tower. So I'm going to try to put all those projects into uh, one awesome base. So yeah, just getting started here. Uh, the, the typical stuff. Got to create a crafting table and get our basic tools. But as always, I like to archive my adventure from the very beginning, so you guys can see the entire progress. I had thought about in this world using MC Edit to actually copy over some of my builds from uh, previous seasons of the Minecraft Archive, but uh, you know, many of you said you really like to see me start from scratch, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Start from scratch yet again, and we're going to have a fun time in this season. So there we go, got my basic set of tools, and I'm just going to kind of spend this first day gathering some resources. There are a few things that I'm going to need. Um, I'm going to need torches, because I plan on going underground here very soon and it'll be dark. And I need saplings so that I can actually grow trees underground and not have to continually come to the surface to get food. Or, excuse me, uh... I lost my train of thought. Uh, I was talking about trees, and then I got to my next topic. I need saplings so that I can t grow many trees underground. 
and then underground I'll grow the trees and I have a basically infinite supply of wood. Then the other thing I need is seeds, and that's where my mind got kind of jumbled. I need seeds so that I can grow a wheat farm underground and have an infinite supply of food. So basically I want to be able to survive underground because it's going to take a while to build this tower, and I actually want to build it from the bottom up. So this first night, first day, we're just going to gather the resources we need to live underground. Make sure we get plenty of wood because it goes fast. And one thing I am going to not want to do is go around and butcher animals because I am still not 100% sure on how the new animal spawning works in Minecraft. I've heard you can now uh, breed animals and therefore have a somewhat infinite supply of animals, but if I go around and kill all the animals in this area, I'm not sure if any more will spawn to replace the ones that were killed. So I'm going to leave the animals be at the time and instead focus on eating things like bread. So that is what I'm doing now is trying to get some seeds. There we go. That was one of the things I needed to be able to survive underground. And there we go. I think we got a pretty good supply of wood right now. So I'm going to head over to this mountain. This is a pretty awesome looking mountain. It's got some lava on the other side here. But ideally, I would like to find some coal. I already hear some monsters. Could be some underneath the ocean there. Or possibly some in this cave. Very, very neat structure to this mountain, so try to take out this spider here. Oh, neat little um, sound effect as you pick up experience orbs now. I like that. And there we go. There is one of the new items in Minecraft, a spider eye. And I believe that you can use that for potions. I get some of this coal here, I'll be able to light up the area. I know it's a little dark for you guys right now on YouTube. Ah, there we go. Now we can see much better. Uh, one other new thing you will notice is the number one down there on my experience bar. And that shows me what level I am at. Now I'm not sure if there's a cap for how high of a level you can be, but basically you spend those levels on enchanting. We'll get to that in later episodes, just some of the new features that Notch and the guys have added. But already I'm level one after killing those two spiders. So there we go, kind of broke through the mountain. See what the view's like over here. See a herd of cows. Ah, oh, man, this is just an awesome world. We got the lava pouring out there and the water. More than enough coal if I need to come back and get some more coal. Let's go ahead and light this up a little bit better so that no monsters spawn in here. And this would be a a nice little place to start off, a nice little place to call home, but I'm going to... Oh, wow. It's quite a drop. I am going to get started on this tower. I'm not going to waste any time. So, yeah, nice, nice little cave here. So, let's actually head out into the water here. My goal in this episode, actually, I told myself I need to find an ocean biome and I need to find a forest because I want to build a tree house in a forest and I want to build a tower in the ocean and what do you know I spawned right by the two so that was perfect and we have this awesome little mountain that we can 
build things on later. So, uh, wow, looks like the, the first night of Minecraft went by pretty fast. So I'm actually going to probably hang out near this cave. What I was going to do by the end of this episode was pick out the spot where I'm going to start building the tower in episode 2. So let's actually just kind of stay in this area. We can kind of explore. Oh, no, 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 creeper. Oh, wow. Oh, that was, that was not good. Oh, here comes another one. All right, there we go. Uh, sounded like a new new sound effect for creepers when they they explode. That was uh, that was interesting. All right, before I get completely lost in this cave, let's make some more torches. And let's light up this area quite well, because that is where I fell down. So, now we can kind of explore from here. Now we've got some iron already. But to get that iron, we are going to need a better pickaxe. One interesting thing that I heard that they added in this new version of Minecraft is you can actually combine tools that have a low durability and combine them into one tool that has a improved durability. So I'll show you what what I mean. I'll need a another piece of cobblestone so I can make another pickaxe. And need some more sticks. So there we go. Now you cannot combine pickaxes of different materials. So I can't combine this wooden one and the stone one. But once the stone one gets low here, I'll switch to the other one. And hopefully by the end of the episode, they've lost enough durability that I can show you what I'm talking about. All right, looks like just one piece of coal there. Already finding a nice little cave system. So I wouldn't normally show me uh, mining all this coal and iron, but since it's the first episode, we all know that these resources are extremely valuable when you are first getting started, so I'm going to take my time and mine it all. And I do hear some nasty little creatures nearby, so I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. Oh, wow. Got a skeleton firing at me. All right. Let's move in. There we go. All right, great. We can use that bone to turn into bone meal, and then we can grow stuff. Uh, especially, we'll need to grow some wheat for our wheat farm. And, man, this is a uh, very confusing cave system. Many different ways to go, but... Let me finish up getting this coal here. Alright, I don't want to get too lost. I don't want to stray too far from where I fell down here, so I'm going to try to keep hold of my bearings. I was going to say, I wonder if there's uh, water above that sand. I'll actually get that, get that block of sand and clog that. I guess I only need to place it there. There we go. Alright, sorry, did not mean to flood the area. 
All right, so we have this area explored, and we came from that direction. So we could either go this way, or I'm a little curious of where this water leads. Actually, let's be careful. There might be something down here. And there's some more iron. Alright, so this appears to lead where we started. Very nice. And so, is this the, yeah, this is the hole we fell in. And about got killed by the creeper. I'm gonna grab these extra torches, don't need that many now. And then let's just uh, continue to explore this cave for a little while longer until the sun rises, and then we'll pick out a location to build our tower, and in episode two, we will start constructing that. So we are going to be able to make a nice set of iron tools once we head beneath the ocean and start building the uh, the bottom of the tower, so this will be nice. Make plenty of iron pickaxes, because I'm going to have to dig one very large hole for this tower. I'm, I'm thinking right now the tower itself will be about 20 by 20 blocks. It's still nighttime, so it's going to continue to gather resources and explore. There's another skeleton up there. Ooh, ooh, wow, he. Ooh, man, he's taken a lot of my life. I am, I am getting out of here. Okay. Wow, he took uh, two-thirds of my life with just a couple shots, so I don't think that was a smart idea. All right. Uh, better be careful here. Don't want any spiders or anything to jump out from above. Oh, man. This skeleton, he's on a mission to kill me. Let's go over here where I know I'm safe. And I'm actually... I don't believe I'm regenerating life because my food bar has gotten too low. So what I'm going to need to do... Oh, wow, I am not in a... Oh, no. I am not in a good situation. Okay, I hate to do that, but I really need to... Oh, didn't mean to place that there. I really need to... Wall myself in. All right. So now, actually, this torch is going to be in the way here. Let's move it. Let's move it back here. Let's see if we can kill the skeleton. All right. He's being sneaky. Man, there we go. All right. I don't normally like to fight like that. I'd rather go face to face and not hide around a corner, but uh, wow, I forgot all about keeping my life up or keeping my hunger bar up. All right. So what I need to do now is head over towards that water. Okay, it's actually it's daytime now. I need to plant a small little wheat farm so I can get some food. 
And I just hope that there's no creepers nearby. Alright, looks good. Alright, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to try to get a couple more seeds. Alright, there we go. We've got three seeds. We can turn that into bone meal. And let's pick out a nice temporary spot to build a wheat farm. And these spots here, okay, I will need to build a hoe real quick. And till the land. All right, Creeper, you stay away from my wheat farm. I need this food badly. And there we go. So now I've got enough to make a piece of bread and I can eat a little bit. And there we go. So hopefully my life starts to regenerate. And let's plant some more seeds. Okay, so we're going to let that grow. And I think this will be the end of episode one. I know you guys probably want me to fight that creeper over there, but I just... Oh, no. I can't risk him blowing up my wheat farm. I can't die in episode one. It just wouldn't be right. So I'm going to end this episode on a cliffhanger with me staring at the creeper in the ocean. But at the beginning of episode 2, I will show you guys the location where I'm going to start building the tower. And we'll get started working on that. And hopefully I have a full health bar by the beginning of next episode. So I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.